My name's Aaron Leshaker. Um, I am a foot and ankle in Jacksonville. Common condition should be in a podiatrist, um, ingrown toenails, ankle sprains, just skin conditions, athlete's foot, fungal toenails. A lot of the times, you know, if left untreated, they can always turn into something worse. You know, I have uh, people who walk in with ankle fractures. They just feel a little bit unstable. They come in, you take an x-ray and you have to let them know, hey, your ankle's broken. Uh, it's a little bit more than an ankle sprain and kind of give them sort of the conservative versus the surgical management. And there are a lot of things that can be prevented, um, kind of sort of catching them early on. Check your feet, look underneath. Did you step on something, right? Especially um, diabetics having neuropathy and such. Catching it on the back end, it requires sort of a Oftentimes surgical intervention. You know, if you come in and you have a, an ulcer on your toe, kind of like a breakdown of your skin, you know, you, you catch it five or six weeks later, it's an amputation. You catch it one or two weeks in and it ends up just being some minor wound care and getting you back on your way and kind of uh, monitoring it from then on. I'm passionate about what I do because most of the time, people feel like they really don't have an option as far as care is concerned. They feel pretty down about just even seeking treatment for the most part, you know, they feel embarrassed. I mean, even someone who comes in with a, you know, just a callus they've had for five years because their shoe's rubbing and you, you trim it off and they can walk out of your office. Some of the most embarrassed people that come in are people with fungal toenails that it can be an easy fix sometimes. I'm also passionate about the limb salvage and reconstruction because people just feel sort of trapped, right? They're like, so my options are to either lose my leg or basically get sick and die. And sometimes it's as simple as like a foot amputation to get someone back to walking normal, which sounds extreme, but when you are, you know, 51 years old and you've had rheumatoid arthritis to the point that you can't walk, and you do a foot amputation and they can walk around normal. It's, I mean, it's life-changing.